Good afternoon, Scopers. Good afternoon. It's finally trying to warm up and the sun is shining. Still a little bit of a cold breeze. But I wanted to jump on for a quick scope. I wanted to talk about um, a myth. The myth that people believe that prophets need to go to the school of the prophets. Hello, welcome, welcome. For those who are joining, for those who watch the replay, my name is Deborah Taylor. I'm an author and co-founder of the Writers Inc. International. I'm out here with little Ruben trying to enjoy this beautiful day. It's a little bit breezy here. But I wanted to just jump on for a quick teaching and I'll go a little bit more into it later, either later or I'll definitely we're going to talk about it in our uh, writing in this Scribal Academy that's coming up in January. The topic for today is all true prophets or most true prophets do not have to go to school. They are trained by God. Most true prophets are trained by God. In his word it says, if there is a prophet among you, I will come to them and reveal myself to them myself in a dream or a vision. Most true prophets do not go to school. I hear so many people saying that you need to go to the school of the prophets in order to be a prophet. That is a myth. And it is very uh, frustrating. It is a burden that is placed on many true prophets by man. Now, granted, it is important if you want to learn the language and if you have the financial resources to attend school and God blesses you to attend a school or, or something of that nature, then by all means, take advantage of it. But most schools of the profits cost thousands of dollars. Thousands. If you are called by God and he said to Jeremiah, before you were formed in your womb, in your mother's womb, I knew you. And called you to be a prophet to the nations. If this is true, then why does he have to go to school? Most prophets in the Bible did not go to school. Read it. So many times I hear people spewing these things and they putting burdens on people. And I see people that are in that are teachers of the school of the prophets and they burden their students and they keep them into the school for years and years and years until they feel like they are um, able to be released into the prophetic. But you know what? God trains his prophets. He trained Joseph. He put the, him through the school of hard knocks. He allowed him to go through a series of circumstances in his life to get to be the leader that he became. Daniel was in captivity. He was trained by secular pagans. And he learned about the arts, the, the uh, magicians. He, he learned about the dark arts. But he was a man of God and he chose not to eat the meat sacrificed to, to idols. Most prophets are sanctified. Sanctified and set apart by God. And he takes them through the training that they need. Just to reset, my name is Deborah Taylor. I'm an author and co-founder of the Writers Inc. Horn International. And I want to talk to you about the myth that prophets have to go to school. Most true prophets don't have to go to school. False prophets want to go to school. People that, that operate in the gift of prophecy want to learn more about what it's like to be in the office of a prophet. But those that are called to the office of the prophet or are called at birth in the mother's womb and they go through a series of teachings and training that Holy Spirit teaches them. For example, in my life, long before I spoke in tongues, long before I knew anything about Holy Spirit, long before I even heard the term prophetic, God gave me dreams. He gave me dreams and they were accurate 
as a youth, as a child. And he began to train me and he began to raise me up. And he put on me the spirit of intercession for first for my family, then for my local church, then out into the nations. There's a series of steps and a process that you have to go through. But most prophets, true prophets, are trained by God and you don't have to go to school. It's nice to go to school. It's nice to learn the language, but the language and the training that you're going to get is going to be for the local church, how to deal with the religious and legal spirits that you have to face. And God, and when you're a prophet of God, he will tell you sometimes, I hate to say it, to speak those hard things. And sometimes he'll give you the language to say and he'll teach you how to say it and how to speak it. All you have to do is just ask him if you are concerned about how God wants you to speak as a prophet. Holy Spirit will tell you. Just ask God. You don't have to be in school of the prophets to be a true prophet of God. Because God will train you. And he says, do not be afraid of the faces of men. Do not be afraid because the words that God gives the prophet, sometimes those, especially those that walk in the office are hard words. Sometimes they aren't words that they, that most people want to hear. So you have to understand. And when God tells you something, you can't do the bless me and the bless the home. You're going to have a, a, a home that's that's going to be fabulous and you're going to be city set on a hill and you're going to have cars and vehicles. That's not the language of God. God gives prophets an assignment and that assignment in a specific sphere of people. So you don't have to go to school if you are a true prophet of God, because he will take you through it. Samuel did not go to school. He did not have a school of the prophets Read the word in 2 Kings. Read it. It says he had a company of prophets. A company of prophets, which means, people, that prophets tend to hang around other prophets. Like iron sharpens iron. So, just to reset one more time, my name is Deborah Taylor. I'm author, co-founder of the Writers Inc. Horn International. I'm going back in to try to finish up some training that I'm preparing for January, bit.ly forward slash writing profit. I am going to be focusing on the profit who writes, but it's important to understand who you are as a profit first before you begin the process of writing. And as I've mentioned, writing is an art and a skill that can be practiced, enhanced, strengthened. That you can receive training in. But as far as the role of a prophet, God trains you. I have met people, they can hear God so powerfully, so powerfully, and not one time did they go to a school. God bless you. We love you here at the Writers Inc. International, where God is the writer and we are his ink horn. Shalom.